Is this working? Yes. It's working. Well, good morning. Uh, good to see you, Michael Dowling, who is the president and the CEO of Northwell Health, uh, which is the largest health system in the state of New York. It's very good to be with you. Dr. Chester, pleasure. Good morning. Uh, and to you, uh, the person who is going to take the first vaccine in the state of New York, maybe the first vaccine oh. shot in the United States, uh, Sandra Lindsay, an ICU nurse. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and you are in Long Island Jewish Medical Center, which is in the great borough of Queens. Good things come from Queens. <laughs> uh, let me start by saying uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, doctor. Thank you, nurse. Uh, thank you, Mr. Dowling. Thank you for everything you've done for all New Yorkers through this pandemic. Uh, I know how horrific it was. It was a modern day battlefield. And that's why the word heroes is so appropriate for what you did. You put your fear aside uh, and you stepped up every day to serve others. And you did it magnificently well. So I can't thank you enough. Uh, we want to get it deployed and we want to get it deployed quickly. And we're here to watch you take the first shot. So. You didn't, you didn't flinch. I take it that Dr. Chester has a good touch. She has a good touch, and it didn't feel any different from taking any other vaccine. She has a good touch, and it didn't feel any different from taking any other vaccine. Great. She has a good touch, and it didn't feel any different from taking any other vaccine. Great. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to the elect. That is, peace to the elect. Okay, I want to go in this video that I actually this is the breaking news. Okay, that um, this, uh, and I don't know if other brothers did a video on this yet, but um, I'm just seeing it. Looks like uh, this nurse, as y'all could, I, and you're gonna have to read, you know, you're gonna have to catch what I'm saying, so called, between the lines, right? Because it's not so much I can say. Um, so, um, this woman here, as you can see, this woman right here, right? And we all know who she is. She has elected to take the first jab. Not the man standing beside her, right? Not the people who even introduced it. And she's in, she's, um, well, let me read. Let me read here. Sandra Lindsay, that's her name, an ICU nurse at Long Island Jewish Medical Center in Queens, right? So, again, as I say, you have to, you know, all of us that know, that's in the know, you have to read between the lines of what's, or understand between the lines of what what is being said here, right? <laughs> um, right. So basically, the the whole thing of inoculation is to protect other people, uh, to protect yourself, okay, or protect other people, so to speak, from getting uh, an infectious disease. So. We can see here that this uh, 
first woman, right, the first person, let me say that, is being used or being set up to uh, take the first jab in a Jewish medical center. Okay. In New York. In a Jewish medical center. <laughs> says was administered the 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 uh maxine the max let me say the max during a live video event about 9 20 a.m uh michelle chester the corporate director and employee of health services in northwell health delivered the shot right delivered the shot she has a good touch and it didn't feel anything different. Well, you know, you just got the jab. So, but she says she doesn't feel anything different than taking any other uh, Max. Lindsay said immediately afterward. Uh, which, I, you know, I put the clip in there. So, and it's just amazing how um, when it comes to situations like this, um, there's certain certain of us that are definitely put in the forefront for these things. It, again, you got to understand what I'm saying between the lines. Of anything, this is one of those things that uh, some of us are put up uh, to bring forth and to uh, show to bring so-called bring the light to if you will so I just want to now the head of all this is this woman named uh, Kiz, Kizmakia Corbett now she is a top African American scientist who is supported by Fauci and um, what's this other guy name that um, that goes into population control gates so again read between the lines see how this is all coming together now this woman Kiz Makia, um, she's if you go back to the Tuskegee situation you had a nurse by the name of Eunice Rivers who was also responsible for helping the inoculation process. So we can see in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 there is no new thing under the sun. Right? And you know I would have to ask the black conscious community of uh, Serenetta do they agree and do they see this because they say the black woman is God. And the black woman is um, is, is heading the race in inoculations okay I mean you know when you look at to the um, when you go into the medical field um, you see the nurses and who they are again read between the lines why, why is this set up how is this going forth who helps set these things up how are they set up I mean it's easy 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 to see so the serenader in them is the black woman the black woman is God thing would have to um, what do they say about that since they are God and since the inoculations are um, set up in that way now this this um, these inoculation <clears throat> according to the WHO this is not anything made up changes the uh, it supposedly changes the mRNA ry ryobic nucleic acid which extracts from the DNA I actually read this stuff up looked this stuff up so this is not misinformation so this is a a different kind of max <clears throat> okay this is a different kind this is an unusual different kind of max okay so before I go any further and um, I just wanted to get the point out 
Psalms 83 and 3, it says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and uh, against thy hidden ones, right? And they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, okay? That um, the Israelites will be no more in remembrance. So, I mean, how do we put this together? I'm just reading from the scriptures. They have taken crafty counsel. Um, what does the uh, word crafty means? Okay, crafty means to be subtile, right? It means to be subtile. See, um, you see a thing down there that's happening with all of us, and again, read between the lines. All of us, you know, and I'll say it like this the awakening. And, you know, you got these. Um, people, the rulers of darkness as I call them, they don't want that to happen, right? So we have to do some things, okay? So let's look up the word sub, sub, we know sub mean low, right? Like sub woofer, you got a speaker that's a sub woofer, sub low. I, I dabble into that anyway, so. Um, it says delicate exclusive subtile difficult to understand or perceive Dif again, there we go again difficult to understand or perceive and we can see a lot of this perceptive refine having marked by keen insight ability to penetrate deeply and thoroughly highly skillfully Cunningly made, contrived, ingenious. Right? So the Lord said in 1 Samuel, He take the beggar and, and lift him up. He take the low, like Job 30 and 5, uh, the um, a base man, and he can bring him up to make be a great man, right? He, he, he can make you know the weak strong and the strong weak. And we can see this, right? So, can't say too much on it. I just wanted to uh, give a little bit on that to show you that um, this is what's happening. And it's easy for us that, that's in the know uh, to read between the lines. Because the truth is already out. The truth is already out. It's not hard to figure out. You know, everybody knows. Uh, it's what it is. That's all I have on that show, Mom.